Do you have any problems in the, on the island? Uh, no, we, we were... You were right where you were? Yes. Yeah, they were. Hi there. Could I just grab a quick word? Well, it, it close up, it looked like a earth, to be honest. Um, you know, there's a lot of fire. Um, but um, I just hope everybody's OK. Is you all right of, in your resort? Yeah, we was fine. We, uh, a lot of people came to our hotel, didn't they? Yeah. From Lindos. Do you have any problems on the island itself? Yeah. Can you tell me, can you talk on from BBC, how bad was it? Uh, it was really bad. We got out on Saturday night and it was carnage at the airport. Um, and then we got put in an um, evacuation centre in Rose Island. And then um, no real kind of idea what was going on. Do we need to go? No, no, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, so it was just carnage. But um, at least we didn't actually. We weren't actually near the worst bits. It was pretty terrible, though. Okay. BBC just asking me about. Uh, and we didn't in particular. We stayed in a fandu, but um, we had a lot of sort of uh, people from different hotels come and, and be put into our hotel, basically. So your hotel uh, became an evacuation centre. Basically, yes, yeah. So I think one night we had about four or five different families. I think um, we got to a point where I think we had eight individuals in in one room with, with the room with a double bed and a single bed. Um, but yeah, I think we, when we left today, when we looked from a fandu, which is a bit further north, we could see the smoke. So it started, I think the wind started to change a little bit and go further north from what we can gather. But apart from that, we were fine and we were on a scheduled flight and left where we needed to today, really.